So, uh, what's up everyone? It's Bobby from QT Japan, and uh, happy 2022. I know it's been uh, quite a while since my last upload, so I do apologize for that. I figured I'll explain to you guys exactly why I haven't uploaded things very recently. I thought I'd begin by just telling you what exactly I do in Japan for a living. Now, in terms of my job here as a freelance videographer, I would say that it, most of the time it's really fun and I love the freedom that I get, the ability to kind of just be creative and express myself. I don't always get to work with clients that I want to support necessarily, but at the end of the day, I have to worry about, you know, paying the bills and really just becoming a reputable professional in the Okayama area. Now that said, I don't enjoy every part of the job, especially the clerical side. Whether it be like accounting or time management or communicating with customers, a lot of that stuff can be tedious and stressful, but again, it's just being organized and just owning up to being a business owner. And as I said, I just feel really fortunate to have a job at all because I remember there was a point in my career where I had zero jobs. I mean, when I first moved to Okayama, I had zero connections here. I didn't have any experience as a videographer and uh, I just had to start from scratch. So the fact that I have clients and uh, time to be considered busy, I just feel really lucky. So to give you a brief recap of how I started off my career in Okayama, I was a newbie photographer and then my new friend here uh, named John Gallione, he basically you know, gave me a lot of great advice and he told me to start doing videography and I had no experience in videography really, so I decided to just start a YouTube channel called QT Japan. And uh, yeah, this kind of started off as a vloggy type of video channel, right? The whole point of the channel was to keep track of my progress as a videographer. I didn't necessarily think that I would become a professional right off the bat, uh, or that I would get any viewers on this channel, but I thought it was worthwhile and it's like, what did I have to lose? So as time progressed, I made more videos for my channel and more people, more local clients started contacting me because they saw my videos uh, from social media and whatnot. Eventually, the amount of client work that I got outweighed my YouTube channel content. They're essentially the same workflow. Uh, you choose a project, you have to plan it, shoot it, edit, and then upload. Uh, but for client work, you're getting paid. Whereas the YouTube channel, uh, you do get a little bit of AdSense, uh, which I stopped collecting a while ago. Um, and of course, I really appreciate all the patrons that I have, but it's really difficult to compare the amount of money. So uh, I had to prioritize the work for my clients over my YouTube channel. Now, aside from this, about a year ago, uh, I started to just get tired of making YouTube content. And I was kind of worried about this because uh, YouTube was how I started making videos in the first place. So I, I started to think, wait, am I just getting sick of making videos altogether? I started thinking about it and then I realized that it could be partly that I'm burnt out from work. It could also be because the logistics of figuring out how to do YouTube videos is sort of exhausting. Um, not to mention like the whole editing process of going through hundreds of gigabytes of uh, video clips and trying to make a cohesive story on a sometimes faulty editing program. That's right, I'm looking at you, Final Cut 10.6.1, awful. Anyway, uh, those things I think should be considered, but I think the major thing is that last year, I was really lucky to have been able to collaborate with other artistic people and people who could just help out with my work, whether it be like a B cam operator or another editor, just people that I could bounce ideas off of and just you know be a part of a team with. And so I don't really wanna just be a solo video content creator. I think that was probably why the last several months uh, I just wasn't feeling up to doing solo work. So maybe this year, I'd like to create more YouTube content that is more collaborative, you know, use all of my connections and uh, great friends that I have to just create fun videos about Japan. On another note, I think to ease the logistical hurdle of finding interviews and getting permission and all this kind of stuff, I'm just going to create more talking head style videos where I'll explain things about Japanese culture or history that I find interesting. Now, of course, I'll have to do my own due diligence and research for these topics. Uh, for example, maybe about like the Zainichi Japanese or something more lighthearted, like why on Valentine's Day 
in Japan, women give chocolate to men, you know, things like that. On your side, as the viewer and supporter of this channel, I would really appreciate it actually if、uh, you guys just hit us up with more ideas, leads, connections that you may have in Japan. If you can introduce us to people that you think are cool or interesting, that's awesome because that's one of the hardest parts of content creation、uh, is just getting to know people who are open to being interviewed. You know, I've just been super fortunate to have had friends. Uh, who know、uh, karate teachers and dojos, or、uh, who know or work at、uh, sake breweries and stuff. So, all of these great videos were made thanks to my friends. And very, very few times have I successfully cold called somebody、uh, just being like, Hey, my name's Bobby.、Uh, I'm a videographer and I want to make a video about you for free on my YouTube channel. What do you think? Most people are very skeptical. And、uh, a lot of people in Japan don't trust YouTubers because, generally speaking, the quality of YouTube content in Japan is not terribly high. And so they just think that you're going to be fooling around. And anyway, that's, that's another video for another day. So if you guys have any questions or suggestions,、uh, please write them in the comment section down below. That's about it. I don't think I'm missing anything. Yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys stay safe and、uh, thanks always for watching my channel. It really means a lot that、uh, I even have anybody watching this, this channel. So thank you very much. All right, peace.